On the surface, the barber paradox sounds like the setup to a quirky riddle, but behind its seemingly innocent question lies a logical landmine that has stumped philosophers, mathematicians, and students of logic for over a century. It's a classic example of how a simple premise can unravel into a full-blown contradiction when self-reference gets involved. The paradox was introduced by the British philosopher and logician Bertrand Russell as a more accessible version of his famous Russell's paradox in set theory. It goes like this. In a small village, there is a single barber who follows a very strict rule. He shaves all and only those men in the village who do not shave themselves. The question is, who shaves the barber? If the barber shaves himself, then by definition he shouldn't, because he only shaves those who do not shave themselves. But if he doesn't shave himself, then he must, because he shaves everyone who doesn't shave themselves. Either option leads to a contradiction. The rule cannot logically apply to the barber himself, which means that the very definition of the barber is flawed. This might sound like a clever joke, but the implications go far deeper. The barber paradox shows how self-reference within a logical system can lead to inconsistency. It illustrates the problem with certain definitions that seem innocent but collapse under scrutiny. Just like Russell's paradox destabilized early set theory by challenging the idea of the set of all sets, the barber paradox exposes the logical instability of self-inclusive rules. In practical terms, it reminds us that rules need boundaries. In mathematics, logic, and even computer science, unbounded self-reference can cause systems to break or loop infinitely. That's why modern set theory and logic systems include strict axioms to avoid such contradictions. The paradox also has philosophical weight. It challenges our assumptions about identity, self-application, and the way language constructs meaning. The brilliance of the Barber paradox lies in its simplicity. It doesn't rely on advanced math or obscure theory, just one sentence and a bit of imagination. And yet it forces us to rethink how we define rules, how we construct logic, and how language can simultaneously describe and destroy itself. It's more than a thought experiment. It's a mirror reflecting the limits of human reasoning.